Hi everybody and welcome to our webinar so far. Hopefully you can hear us and see us and see our presentation well. Welcome to our accommodation services at UIL webinar where hopefully we can answer um, all of your questions today and help you um, with your application um, to UIL and our halls of residences. So there's myself and Lauren who will be presenting to you today. Um, Lauren will introduce herself. Um, Lauren, do you want to introduce yourself first? Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. Hi, yeah. everybody. Nice to see so many of you here with us today, even though it's virtually. Uh, I'm Lauren. I work with the central team, uh, the accommodation central team. I work in the allocations team. So once we receive your application through, um, try and put you in the right hall or the right room type fit for you. Thank you, Lauren. Um, and my name's James. I'm the student experience manager, and it's my job to make sure that when you actually get here, um, you have an amazing time uh, and that university is really good, not just um, being part of your course, but actually you're living too and, and where you live, because that's one of the biggest parts of university. So that's incredibly important to us. Um, so that's my job to make sure that you have a great time and if you don't I'll make sure that um, we put you in touch with the right services to make sure that you do have a great time. Um, what I'll do now is I'm just going to hand over to Lauren who will um, start off our presentation. All right everybody um, so again welcome um, so throughout this presentation we are going to be covering a wide range of different subjects um, firstly, I'll be talking you, uh, talking you all through the different types of accommodation we have available to you. So this will be like the different halls we have available um, and the different room types we have. Um, I'm then going to touch on um, how to apply for accommodation and um, most importantly, when to apply. So important dates for you guys to keep in your diary. James will then start to touch on um, the kind of support we offer while you're living in halls um, and the kind of experience you can expect um, as well once you're with us. And then finally, after that, we're going to open up the floor to you guys, as Jane men James mentioned. Um, if you have any questions, just pop them in the chat. And then at the end, we're going to answer as many as we can for you guys. Okay. Thank you. Um, so uh, we're going to start off with the different types of accommodations we have um, available for you. This lovely selection of photos shows you um, the 12 different halls that we have. In commutable distance to our colleges, um, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, which one you're placed in. Um, one of the main questions I would say that we get um, at, from students is, you know, which hall should I apply for? And I would say that's really down to you as an individual and what you're looking for. Um, so we always advise students to take a really good look at our website um, because we have a dedicated um, hall page uh, for each hall. Um, so the halls page will include lots of information such as the room type. Oh, can you guys hear me? I can hear you, Lauren. I'm not Are sure whether... Sorry, I saw in the chat someone said, um, I can't, is someone talking? All right, yeah. good, <laughs> sorry. Um, right, so where was I? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, one of the main questions we get is what hall should I apply for? Um, and like I said, that is up to you. Um, I would say have a look at our website. Um, the halls pages um, have, uh, you know, lots of information about at that hall, the price ranges we have, um, the distance to each college, the transport links, um, as well as we also have on there virtual tours um, of the different room types and the uh, communal facilities as well. Um, if you're a first year, um, we would also recommend that you look into ensuite or shared bathrooms. Um, these rooms will be basically allocated in cluster flats, um, so you will be with other UAL um, and the size of our flats really vary depending on the hall you're allocated to. I would say on average um, the cluster flats are usually between um, seven to eight students, um, but uh, they can vary. We have some that are slightly smaller, so maybe you share just four of you, and then we have ones which are um, a little bit more bigger than that too. Um, if you're looking um, alternatively for more independent learning um, or you're a more mature student, um, I'd say maybe you want to look at maybe some studio rooms. Um, these might suit you a bit better. Um, 
so uh, for our students, we also have a, um, a hall called Brook Hall, and these are solely um, in this hall. Um, they're solely studios there. Again, um, have a look at our um, website um, because we also have studio rooms throughout um, our portfolio too, not just at Brook Hall. Um, we also have a wide range of facilities. So depending on the hall that you um, uh, go to, um, some of our halls have outdoor spaces. We have um, gym facilities in them. I'd say the majority of them have communal, like common rooms um, for students to use, um, but some also have like uh, additional rooms like games rooms. And I know there's some um, additional costume store as well. Um, Another question we usually get asked is um, for postgraduate students. Some people ask, do we have halls specifically just for postgrads? Um, we don't. Um, all of our halls are mixed um, for all students. Um, so it's really a mix of undergraduates, um, FE students and postgrad students. Um, but as I mentioned before, if you are looking for that more independent learning or um, you know, you're a more mature student, you can look at the studio room types because um, they may be a good fit for you. Uh, next slide, please, James. So like Boris, next slide, please. There we go. Um, okay, so this map shows you, um, thank you. <laughs> Uh, this map shows you um, basically where all of our halls are located um, in London. As you can see, we kind of cover a wide area, a very wide area. Um, but you can also see the proximity to each college. Um, there's a small QR code in the corner. And if you scan that, um, it will take you to our website where you can find lots more information as well. Okay, um, now for the important dates. Um, so all of our applications will open from May. Um, if you are a returning student, so someone that has been to UAL before, um, so for example, if you did a foundation or you're in your first year and you're coming back to your second year, you will be able to apply from the 5th of May. Students who have an unconditional firmly accepted it, you'll be able to apply from the 12th of May and then anyone else, um, so for everyone, basically, if you don't fall in one of the two categories, um, you'll be able to apply from the 19th of May. Um, we will email students um, with loads of information about this as well. So just keep an eye on your emails because we will kind of prompt you again. Dates are also on our website. So if you have a look on there in the main page, they are on there as well. So um, keep an eye on that. If you're um, an international student, we'll also offer you priority um, for accommodation. You will need to apply before the end of May um, and the email that we send out will give you the specific date um, on when to apply um, if you want to be included as a priority student. Um, in the meantime, what you can do is make sure you're registered um, on the accommodation services student portal. Um, so if you just go on our website, there's a little box there and it says how to uh, click here to apply. You click on that, you just need to have your student number to apply um, and then it will ask you basically just to register. And then what that means that when applications open, you can just go in straight away and pick your choices. When you apply, um, you'll be able to, pick, uh, be able to pick five different um, halls and room types. Um, I would strongly suggest that you try and pick five different um, halls. Um, because for some of our smaller halls, um, if you put the same room type five times, um, we can't always guarantee. We try our best, but we can't always guarantee that we're able to offer you that room type. But if the budget and the room type you're looking for, and we will try our best to allocate you to one of them rooms. Um, if we can't um, allocate you to one of them rooms, we will get in contact with you to let you know what's available and see you know, where we can go from there to pick something that best suits you. Um, and most importantly, um, if you, um, because of what's everything that's going on at the moment, uh, able to hold um, like actual open days in our halls, but on the 8th of May, we are going to be having like a super Saturday for the accommodation services. So you'll be able to have virtual tours of each of our halls and there'll also be people from the accommodation team um, will be having Q and A's there. So you'll be able to pop in and if you have any specific questions, we'll be able to answer them for you there. Thanks so much, Lauren. I'll hand over um, to James now. Thank you. 
Um, so my next slide to cover is around the support whilst you actually live in our halls. And so um, I'll cover what we what what we provide for you. And I think the, the most important thing for us is that we always say to students, it's so much more than just a room. Um, there's a whole kind of service that comes with that um, as part of being um, in the UIL um, halls of residences rather than, you know, renting a private flat, flat for example. And by that, we mean, first of all, uh, we provide a 24 hour, um, seven days a week service there for you, a support service. So uh, whenever you might need that support, it's always there and it's always available for you um, right throughout the year, including Christmas Day and every other day when maybe the rest of the university might be shut down, we're, we're always there for you and, and we will listen and help. Laura mentioned it before, but we do have um, Pacific support available for overseas students. So if you're um, looking for a bit more advice, but maybe you want that in Cantonese, Mandarin or English, um, we have an international advisor based in Hong Kong um, who can um, support overseas students. We also have a friendly team of accommodation and finance advisors. So um, the team that Lauren works in, um, they're the team that are there to support you uh, with any questions. Again, when you get here, sometimes students want a bit more kind of um, personal advice around finance or um, managing their budget. And again, again, we can help with that. Um, there is also a um, airport pickup service, but this is again for international students. Um, I would say have a look on the website um, for more information on the airport pickup service. We're really lucky at UAL to have one of the largest and um, the, the biggest kind of events and wellbeing programs for students in halls, which I'll talk about on the next few slides. Um, I'll get into a bit more detail about what we do there. We also provide private accommodation advice. So after your first year in halls, um, a lot of students decide to find flats, you know, with their friends or their new flatmates that they've lived with for that year in halls. So we can help you with that transition. We have a, an advisor who um, supports students transition from living in halls to potentially getting your own um, private flat or house share. And so we'll help you make sure that transition is um, safe. And last of all, we have a dedicated liaison officer for disabled students too. So um, I think it's really important that we stress that really that means access for all and um, by disabled students, we, we mean that in quite a, a large kind of area or quite broad area. So um, if you've got any concerns at all in terms of any specific personal needs um, that you might need before you get here, just pop us an email and let us know and then we can make sure that we provide um, the absolute best for you. Um, Laura mentioned before, but you can scan the QR code um, on the screen with your camera phone and um, there's lots more information on this and um, it'll take you to the website page in this area. One of the biggest questions that we're asked at the moment is around coronavirus and um, what are we doing in halls to support students to make, to make sure that it's safe. Um, and I think it's really important to stress that this is a, a situation that's changing globally on a regular basis, but we as a team continue to monitor that every single day um, to provide the best support available for each and every student and also our staff. And all of this information is correct as of um, this month, so April 2021. And so far we've supported thousands of students over the past year who have managed, who have moved here uh, and lived in London successfully um, during the pandemic and everything has actually gone really well um, if I'm totally honest. We're quite lucky at the moment out of the thousands of students that we still have currently in UAL halls we have no cases of coronavirus in any of our halls and we have no students in isolation in any of our halls so the situation um, has been managed quite well um, but I'll cover some of the things that we've done to reassure you as to why we have no cases at the moment. We have been quite strict, but it is for the best uh, for all of our students. So to make this work, what we've done is we've supported students through self-isolation. So students that do require to self-isolate for two weeks when they first get here, um, we have um, processes in place to help you with that, um, both um, in terms of safety, but also in terms of um, any extra support you need whilst you're self-isolating. We continue with social distancing um, around communal areas of our halls. 
and we continue with um, students wearing face coverings once they leave their flat and they walk around the building or go to reception, for example, and we request students wear face coverings until government guidelines change. We have assisted students with um, food deliveries. So um, when students first get here and uh, maybe they're in uh, self-isolation and can't get out to buy things, we will we'll help you um, sort that out and arrange deliveries. Um, or we have our own service that can um, you can book for that. We enhanced our cleaning over a year ago now um, to our kind of premium cleaning service. And we looked at the government guidance back um, a year ago, which said we should do certain things for cleaning. And then what we did was add on um, some extra layers on top of that. So we followed the government guidance, but we've actually added a bit more to make sure that cleaning of all things like touch points, handles, lifts, um, anywhere where there's lots of traffic of people that that is cleaned um, over and over really on a regular basis, which has helped us keep um, the virus outside of our halls. We've provided bedroom and kitchen packs too. So um, to make it easier in terms of traveling to London, whether you're traveling from outside of the UK or actually even in the UK, um, we can provide some really heavily discounted and useful bedroom or kitchen packs, which include things like um, bedding or your utensils for your kitchen. Um, and you can order all of these things online before you get here and we'll just pop them in your room ready for you when you get here. And uh, we've enhanced our support through digital channels. So um, you can book one to ones with any of our staff um, on a video call. Um, and we have um, an amazing program of support, which I'll go into um, now. Again, just a reminder that you can scan the QR code. This QR code goes to our main UIL coronavirus important information page, which um, we advise students to check on a regular basis. So for student life in Hort, excuse me, <clears throat> um, as I said earlier, we are very lucky to um, have an award-winning support program at UAL. It's one of the biggest in the UK in terms of halls of residences. And through that, we run a variety of events every week in each hall. So those include things like um, afternoon tea sessions, film nights, fitness sessions, monthly events like cooking classes, or we get um, inspirational speakers um, to come and speak to students. And um, so there's quite a lot going on. We also have a really handy um, Halls Life website, um, which includes lots of useful articles, um, which are all actually written by all the students. So um, everything you see on that website is, is produced by our students. There are some things on there which I think might be useful right now if you're interested. Um, again, you can scan the QR code in the corner and go straight to the Halls Life website or just search UAL Halls Life and it will come up to the top. Um, search on Google. The articles that might be of interest right now are things like five things people didn't tell me about moving to a new country or what my first year at UIL and living in halls was like. So um, these are all, as I said before, written by students uh, and are quite honest reviews. We're quite lucky as well to have a, um, a group of student reps who are in every single one of your halls. So um, those reps work for our programme. They're trained um, at the start of the year and they will actually be in the hall before you arrive. Um, so we'll start sharing information um, once you apply for halls of, to who your halls rep is. Um, and that rep will, um, some of the events that I've just mentioned, but they will also signpost you to um, other support should you ever need it. They're trained to signpost students in the right direction. All being well and um, the coronavirus situation starts to um, improve, which it is at the moment in the UK. Um, we are hoping to um, reignite some of our in-person events. So that includes trips around the UK and um, even potentially Europe at some point. In the past, we've offered discounted trips to places like Cambridge, Oxford, Bath, so that there's things for students to do on the weekend. And we also do um, heavily discounted theatre trips um, and um, kind of trips on the London Eye, for example, too. So there's lots and lots that we offer discounted for students, and we hope to bring all of that um, back as soon as the government um, rules change. And 
the past year, we've been running a um, really successful online digital events program, um, which is all online. Um, you're actually welcome to take part now if you really want to uh, and get a taste of what it's like. So again, it's all on Hall's Life on the events tab. Um, and there's lots on there from weekly Pilates sessions to energy healing, fitness classes, and just virtual hangouts with the other students. So um, I know it's early days and you you know, you know might have applied for UL, you might not have applied for UIL, but feel free to take part. Um, it's open to you now if you want to. That's great. So um, last of all, um, we just wanted to share the accommodation um, contact details directly with you. So. You can see them on the screen there and again if you scan the QR code that will take you to our contacts page. I mentioned earlier about our international advisor and the contact details for the advisor is uh, also on the screen so um, feel free to make contact with Chu who is the name of our international advisor and we also have an online chat um, system too on our website so if you don't feel comfortable talking on the phone or popping an email um, feel free to chat to us um, again Monday to Friday. Um, our team are very friendly and are here to answer all of your questions. Um, Perfect well I think we'll leave it there for today and um, thank you everybody so much for attending and um, if you do have any questions after the session then um, do just note down the um, email address that's currently being shown on screen, although we will be following up with you after, so don't worry if you uh, haven't got anything to jot it down with. And thank you to Lauren and to James for delivering such an informative session. Um, I just want to wish everybody uh, a lovely rest of the day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.